What's up, Guru Nation? Welcome back to the clinicaltrialsguru.com. Happy New Year. Happy 2017. We're getting the year started off right. So um, I'm actually applying for a lot of contract CRA positions, um, mainly because I want to help my students out in the CRA Academy. I want them to better understand the job interview process, what kind of questions they typically ask. But I also want, so I've been involved in a lot of different aspects of this industry and i've done a lot of cra work like for my sites so like as an in-house qa uh, but i've never worked for one of the big cro's and so i want to see number one how long i can last and juggle everything else i'm doing while doing that but also um i just want to see what the process is like i want to see how these larger cro's operate so that i also can bring this to my CRO. That's coming, so this year is gonna be a really good year. Um, keep your questions coming. Okay, this one's from someone who wants to start a research clinic. And so, uh, hey, I plan on opening a clinical research site and function as the PI. Um, is this recommended or is there a conflict of interest? So, no, there is no conflict of interest. There's many PIs own their own research clinics, right? In fact, you can argue that it's preferred that way. I mean, one of the biggest issues <clears throat> sorry, one of the biggest issues in this industry is PI oversight or a lack of PI oversight. And so um, it, it, it sort of puts the sponsors more at ease when they know that the PI is invested in the company because they actually own the company. All right. So you can argue that it's actually preferred, but uh, it shouldn't make a difference um, at the worst case scenario. And best case scenario, it's actually preferred. So um, here's the uh, other question they asked. I'm a chiropractor, so I'd like to focus on small studies because I'm not sure how pharmaceutical companies feel about chiropractic PIs. Uh, what is your perspective on chiropractic PIs? So I, I don't want to be the one to kill your dreams. I know a couple PIs who are not MDs or DOs. I know that for all intents and practical purposes in this industry, sponsors require that the PIs be licensed physicians. So a chiropractor wouldn't fall under that. However, don't let me stop you, okay? There are, I know two PIs that are very successful, catches they've been doing it for a long time, which I'm gonna get into now, uh, but they're PhDs, okay? And But they surround themselves with MD sub-investigators. And they've sort of made a niche for themselves in their ability to recruit patients quickly and uh, not committing a whole lot of protocol deviations and keeping up to date with GCP and quality assurance and all that stuff. So it's a matter, just like anything else, it's a matter of selling, which is convincing the sponsor or the CRO that you're the right choice to run their study at, at your location. So now, with that being said, I don't think it's practical for you as, an, as a non-physician to start applying for studies um, because you have a startup, right? So your research clinic, you haven't even started it yet. You don't wanna put yourself at an immediate disadvantage by being turned down for studies uh, because you don't have a licensed PI. So what you can do is you can be the sub-I for all your trials, okay? It's your company. You call the shots. You can be the sub-I, and you can pretty much do everything that a PI would do, but you contract with a PI, so you pay that person 10 to 20% of the gross study budget. They're the PI. You're the sub-I. You keep doing this for two, three, four, five years. Build up your authority. Build up your expertise. Create a niche for yourself. Uh, under promise, over deliver on the patients, on quality. Just make sure there's no issues as far as GCP and training of your staff and protocol deviations at your site. And then once you build a relationship, you can start applying as a PI. And maybe you'll get one out of... 10 sponsors to agree, uh, but that's still one more than what you have now, which would be zero, right? Your chances of becoming a PI right now with no experience as an unlicensed physician, as a chiropractor, is close to zero. 
Um, but that doesn't mean you can't do it. But you got to put in the work five years. All right, it's not going to happen right away. So find this PI, partner with them. You be the sub I, enroll the patients, take care of quality control at your site. Establish relationships with the CROs, with the CRAs, with the sponsors, with the medical liaisons, with the medical monitors, and convince them over time, all right, because actions speak louder than words. So there's a difference between telling someone that you're going to enroll a lot of patients and pay attention to quality of the data um, and not be a headache, basically, for that sponsor versus actually doing it. And if you keep doing it consistently over a period of years, I said years, all right, not months, then you can start maybe considering becoming a PI. So there's always an opportunity. Um, and who knows, you may not want to be PI. If you find if you find a business model that works for you, you may just want to continue onwards in, in that direction. But never say never, but I'm a practical person, so right now, if you want to be successful and not put yourself at a disadvantage from the outset of starting your company, you need to partner with a PI. And let me see if there was any other questions. Uh, nevertheless, I'd have to start building a larger patient database to select study participants readily. What are the stipulations for general and broad statement marketing uh, for recruitment of study participants? So. Patients, I mean, you have to get the patients enrolled, right? Whether you're a chiropractor as a sub-I, whether you're a PhD as a PI, whether you're an MD as a PI, whether you're a neurosurgeon as a PI, it doesn't matter. Sponsors care about you getting patients in the study. So you have to demonstrate, again, selling, right? Selling is important. You have to demonstrate to them that you're able to produce results, good quality data, enroll many patients quickly and then you're in business and if you can't do that then you're gonna struggle so hopefully this helps let me know how it goes I'd like to hear back from you and uh, we do consulting too so if you ever need my help as far as getting studies for you finding PIs for you creating your source docs negotiating your contracts and budgets a whole bunch of other stuff reach out to me Dan at the clinical trials or 949 415 6256 thank you very much guru nation good luck talk to you soon Thank you.